Going viral on Scratch can be quite difficult. So today, I'll show you 5 simple tricks that you can use to help you go viral. Also, huge thanks to Viper for letting me use some tricks from his video. First of all, it's super important to get your name in front of the right people. You can do this by going to the show and tell forums, or by making your own studio and inviting people that you think would be interested. Adding your game to lots of popular studios that allow advertising is also a great idea. Another great way to advertise to the right people is by going to Discord servers, like mine, link in the description, and show people your game in the advertise section. You can even go to people's profiles on Scratch that allow advertising and tell them about your game. The general idea of this strategy is to get people who are interested to play your game and get some early views. The second super important thing to do to go viral is patience. While it may be tempting to try to make lots of products in hopes that they go viral, it's a way better idea to spend more time on a single excellent game. Quality over quantity is a great rule of thumb to follow. Another thing that you should spend lots of time on is the topic of your game. Research and brainstorming may not be the most fun part of making games, but it's still super important. If you're going to commit to an idea fully, you should make sure that it's good. For a third tip, you should playtest your game. As the developer, it's easy to have biases on certain parts of the game, but playtesting makes it so you can see where players are getting stuck or where they think you can improve. Another thing to note is that it's a good idea to get people to test even the early stages of your game to see if the general direction is good. That way you won't have to revert hours of progress later if you find out that it's bad. But how do you actually playtest effectively? Well, you can get your friends or family to test it out, or you can go to studios and ask people on Scratch to help out. You can even go to a Discord server and post your game and ask for feedback there. The main idea here is just to get honest feedback about your game before you release it, and find out the problems before they actually cause people to quit, or even leave negative comments. Finally, it's super important that your game looks professional. This may seem like a really big task at first, but as with all skills, it becomes a lot easier with learning and practice. And the internet is a fantastic resource. You can watch dev vlogs on YouTube, or follow in-depth tutorials like this one here about how to make your buns better. Sound design can also play a huge part too, and a great resource for sound effects is freesound.org, which has hundreds of thousands of free sounds to use. It's also really important that your game is fun. And a great way to verify this is by playtesting like I mentioned before. But how do you actually make your game enjoyable in the first place? Well, you can do things like making the game harder as the player plays on, or by adding variety and a sense of progression. And luckily for you, I made an entire video about the topic here. So that wraps up this video. Do you have questions or feedback? Leave them in the comments. Have a great rest of your day, and I will see you next time.